Hi Gemini, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. Now let's start with the reading. First let's shuffle the deck four times. I will start with what happened in the past, what were the challenges, so you better know if this is your reading. So let's see, okay, not feeling quite happy into that connection, into that connection. or this connection uh, had very small moments of happy achievements or being in a happy relationship. So. Especially, I think, during the mid or the end of that uh, connection. Also, being quite harsh. One person here was behaving quite distant, emotionally harsh uh, with their language, maybe. And um, not very emotional person. For some of you, you may have been dealing with an, a Leo or an air sign another air sign Aquarius, Gemini or Libra now let's see about your current energies I see you not believing the connection is uh, the right one for you you don't want to continue to give this connection chances but you may you may like to remain friends with them now let's see what may be affecting you in your subconscious. The fact that you want to clear the air, that you want to make peace and have reconciliation with this person. Also you want to avoid any more uh, connections that have conflicts, arguments. Now let's see more details about the overall energy. The person that may have done something wrong or from whom there is an expected message is thinking to delay that message or to delay that apology. Now let's see uh, how do you view the situation with them. Some of you were married to this person and uh, you wanted commitment if there was no marriage you you were imagining being with this person long term and you may still have some desires deep inside yourself even though you don't want to invest into that relationship again you may still hope that uh, maybe if things can be improved does it have potential for uh, being something serious so you have questions about that questions about committing to this person. Now, your hope is to be with the person that is courageous enough to declare their love and affection to you and be proactive, not passive. Also, you want to avoid being in a connection that is not consistent, is on and off. You may want a passionate connection, but you don't want it to be uh, unstable. You want a stable, secure, passionate connection and with a person that takes charge of the situation. Now let's see more details about their energy towards you. What is their current energy towards you? They feel quite sad about that ending. They think a lot about you, but they have chosen to move away and give up. Or this person lives in a distance from you, maybe in another city or country. They are thinking a lot about moving away or giving up, but it is not easy for them to, to give up. They feel ashamed if they did something wrong. They have a desire to return one day. Let's see, will they take actions? They feel so confused. No, I don't see them wanting to take action for now. They want to remain single. 
They want to focus on their money and career, at least for April. We will continue to see what happens, but for the time frame of this reading, they will remain single from you and uh, they lack the clarity. They have lots of questions that are un un unanswered and uh, they first want to be more sure what they want themselves and then to take action. Now, do they have feelings for you? I see them overthinking a lot, feeling sad about what happened, but anyway deciding to give up or move away from that past connection. Let's see in the extended, let's see more details about how does your person feel now? How do they view you? What are their intentions? And what about the energies around you, them and the connection? If you want to watch the extended of this video, you can find it now in the description box below. See you the next reading and bye for now. Hi Gemini, welcome to your 